and we are live. Believe Nation, how are we doing? Happy Friday. Friday's my CEO day. And I try to spend a day working on big picture projects to grow my business forward. This morning was special. Um, I was the opening keynote at a three day uh, workshop or press summit, I guess, the entrepreneur, the real entrepreneur summit in South Africa. So that was super cool. I got to be. Uh, Zoomed in from Canada to support all the South African entrepreneurs. Um, so tons of fun this morning. And uh, this afternoon, I'm spending the time helping my friends. So I'm usually pretty bad at keeping in touch with people. So I reserve my Friday afternoons to stay in touch with the people who I want to stay in touch with, uh, find a way to at least once a quarter, send them something, help them, bring them value somehow. And um, after this, going to go into three one-hour sessions with some pretty big name people to help them with their channel and grow and improve. But right now is my break time. I'm going to be here with you and we're going to chat. I see Matthew here. Let's bring him in and see how we can bring some value. Mind Clubhouse. Hey, Mind Clubhouse. Go check it out. And ho ho, Matthew. Hey, what's up, Evan? Good. How are you, man? I know pretty good, man. I like it. So Matthew's part of uh, Movement Makers and is part of that. We do an IG live together. So where's home for you, man? Sir. Uh Omaha, Nebraska. All right, cool. Out in the corn or out in the corn state, bro. All right. I like it. I like it. What what do you got? How can I help? Uh so okay, so I wanted to well, before I get to the question, I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh so I well, I have two of your books. <laughs> I got uh, Build to Surf with the, uh, like, so I got the original, like, copy off Amazon. And then I got, then I bought your, the one where you signed it. Okay. I bought that one as well. Okay. But I was doing that, and I found my who uh, and whatever, all that. Mm -hmm. And my, and it's hashtag love for me. Okay. And I was just going to ask you, like, how do you how do you tell like what your three like hash like three um things are like for it you know what I mean yeah so for the credo so under the, under the who was the credo the three things that make up love for you Th did you do yeah did you do the exercise where you're asking there's the five essential questions where you go through who your favorite teacher was all that stuff yeah uh but I was kind of confused with with it like at the end like I tried to do like what I thought. But I just wasn't sure, so I wanted to, like, make sure with you, you know? Like, see what you thought about it. Okay, so as you were going through that exercise, did you come up with a list of, like, you're supposed to come up with, hey, what's your favorite movie? What's your favorite book? What, do you, what did you love about your parents? Who's your favorite teacher? And then for each one, write down three words. Yeah, uh, so I got, so, uh, so for my favorite teacher, I put Mr. Sterling because he was a genuine soul. Just doing, just doing good, having fun, and treating all all his kids like like his own. Then, like I underline genuine love. Uh, then, like love and genuine for most of them. So for my three, I have the love, and then I have like, um, then I have just being genuine, mm -hmm. loving each, loving like each other, and then caring for each other. Okay, so I would just I like the caring, I like the genuine. I just break down so that you don't have love and then love again. Yeah. So what's a, what would the third one be? How do you, how do you express love or how have the people in your life who've loved on you? Why do you resonate with them so much? They were, they were genuine, they were caring and they were what? Uh, they were respectful. Hmm. See, that's, that's cool because if you were looked up, the definition of love in the dictionary, you probably wouldn't see respectful in there. But for you, so, yeah. that makes a big difference. That's why it's so important to kind of break it down because love has a pretty uh, universal understanding. And most people would say something around caring and maybe genuine. But for you, the layer of respect is also super important. So in terms of now people who you want to have in your life, you want them to have 
respect, but also for you to, to give love and help other people, you're probably going to be really respectful of the people who you're trying to help and the people in your life too. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So going back to what you're just saying, like about the respect. Mm -hmm. So is it, so my friends, like, even though I know we're joking around, but sometimes like, sometimes like, like I can't tell, you know, especially because it's over text. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this girl named, this girl named Haley that I was talk that I, that I talked to, she, uh, the people that she loves and like, she's friends with, she calls everyone like, like names, like the B word and stuff. Okay. And the other day I got, I, I got at her for it. Like I set a boundary for it, like not calling me that anymore yeah. or just not like, like calling names anymore, you know, cause that's not, cause there's no reason for that. So should I just, so should I just keep on joking around with her or just like actually make it like a actual standard you think well, for people? Um, she probably, you have to really figure out, is she actually disrespecting you? Because she, that may be how she shows love. So is she actually, yeah, that's what she, yeah. That's what she said. She said that, um, that that's just like her personality and that's how, that's who she is. But she'll try. Well, that's like, you might be on her inner circle because she's given you the nickname where the people would just get a normal name and she is showing love. But for you, this, it's super important to try to put yourself in the other person's shoes, the people around you. Like, are they actually disrespecting you or not? And that's where you try to, I call it wearing their skin. Like, is she trying to put you down? Is she trying to be disrespectful? Is she trying to say, hey, man, you're no good? You know, is she trying to put herself above you? Or is that actually the language she uses for her close friends? And it's actually, from her perspective, something that you're close to her. I feel you. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably talk to her about it again. I just, I, I don't. So I'll probably just talk to her and I'll tell her that like we can joke around like that again, just not call each other the B word because I have a problem with that. And you can explain it, right? It's like, hey, listen, this is, I know you're having fun and thank you so much for being in my life and I'm on your inner circle, but this triggers me and I'm trying to work on it. <laughs> and I know you're not coming from a place of trying to disrespect me, but this word triggers me. And it, I'd super appreciate it if you wouldn't call me that or at least try right like we've got some yeah, maker yeah. i always try as much as possible to call people by the names that they want and i'm not always i don't always remember but i try right like the intent is positive yeah. um i don't know if you know tessa marie in our group uh but she came to she was on my youtube live last night and um said hey do you like being called tessa marie or tessa because I just rather sometimes when people have the hyphen in their name, you don't know like what to call them. Uh, and she's like, "Oh, it doesn't matter either one." I said, "No, but like, what do your what do your friends call you? What do your family call you? Because Mover Makers is family. So, what the people who are closest to you, what do they call you? Tessa Marie, or Tessa?" And um, she said, "Tess." So like neither, right? So it's Tess. It's like, okay, well, what, you know, Zan and I, Zan who co-host with me, we're gonna do our best to call you Tess. And we both messed up a couple times. I, I called her Tessa, Zane called her Tesla. Um, you know, it's just like, we make some mistakes, but it's how, and then apologize. And we're, we got to rewire it. You know, it could be hard for her because she's so used to calling people that, that, oh, for you, it's like, oh, shoot. Okay, yes, I, I'm going to call him, you know, whatever else. Um, so it's, it's for you always trying to be respectful and treat people the way that you'd want to be treated. And for other people, I just watch out about being triggered. Like, did they actually mean to disrespect you or are you just interpreting it that way? It can make a big, big, big difference. Tess, gotcha. Tess, I was here too. She said it was all good. <laughs> Tess, not Tess and Marie. See, I just, I just made the mistake again. I said Tess and Marie. Tess, Tess in the house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, okay. So now on to my question. Uh, so a while back, this was a while ago, uh, maybe like sometime last year, but I've been wanting to get back into like 
writing poetry. Um, but I haven't like ever since my ten my ten month uh like I was dating this girl for ten months and uh I used to write poems and songs for her and like sing her to sleep and stuff. And like I like I like doing that. But after the breakup, I couldn't like like I couldn't find myself to like start making poems or anything anymore. And like do I just go out and just just do it like start practicing again or so why do you did you write poems just for her or did you write poems before or why do you want to get back into poems now uh i i just always liked it and that's what got me through depression is like motivational stuff and writing poems and so i want to try to get back into it but i tried to a while back and i was just i wasn't that good like i used to be but when i was with her like that's all I would really like that. That was my inspiration pretty much. Got it. But now I, for some reason can't like find inspiration, you know, it's putting pen to paper and just trying, you know, like yeah. it might be rusty. It may not be as good, but all art is expression. It's therapy, you know? So some people take it out through a dance. Some people take it out by writing a song. Some people take it out by, by making a painting, you know? And if you look at artists and their songs, sometimes the art, sometimes the album is all kind of sad because it, they've just gone through some breakup. Sometimes it's crazy aspirational and motivating, like from the same artist, from one album to the next, because they were in a different spot. So I would, I would look at your poetry as healing, that it gets you to from where you are into the next step. So your poem could be about how you're stuck. All right, so just, just keep on going at it then. Well, but write about, just... write about how you're feeling and where you wanna go, not, not judging yourself for who you used to be. Like if you're stuck, write about being stuck. Got you. If you're struggling that you don't, you can't find the words, just, that's what you write. You write, I can't find the words. Do you rhyme your, your poems or are they just freestyle? Like, uh, sometimes they rhyme, but half the time they're, they're freestyle. Cause I just go off, I just go off. Like I, so I go off like a sentence yeah. and like, I'm trying to rhyme yeah. and then I just go with what like comes to mind. Yeah. So that's what you should do and just get, Get back into it, but it doesn't have to. Don't judge it against what you used to do because that was a different you and a different zone, and you are you've now grown and evolved, right? So if you're struggling to find, I'm struggling to find the words. Everything I write comes out like a turd. You know, like, I don't know, whatever. You just you just start writing, dude. <laughs> yeah. um, do you have a do you? Do you write in a notebook? Do you write in a, a computer? Like, what do you do? Uh, actually, write in this notebook. I have a lot of writing in here. Yeah. Like, I was just about to. I was just about to get to your two ninety five days. I usually write down every morning. Okay. And then, uh, usually, like, if I'm at work or something, I usually try to work on your book. Or Jim Quick's book, uh, or I just or I just write okay. for fun. So so, let's write something right now. Okay. You could pull out the pen, pull a fresh page in a notebook. What do you want? All right. All right. Let's start. Let's make a poem. We're gonna make a poem together. All right. It doesn't have to be long. It could be like two lines, a two-line poem, right? There you go. So here we go. We can see it. So, so what do you, what's, what are you thinking right now? How are you feeling right now? Uh, good, happy, glad that I'm talking to you. Okay, great. So, wh what do you want to write about that? I'm happy. I'm talking to Evan. Like, how would you lead something like that? <laughs> I'm scared to open this book. Hey, I'm gonna 
set you down for a sec. You know, I'm gonna write something and I'll show Good, you. Okay. We can hear you. It's happening, guys. This is it. <laughs> and you're getting tons of love, by the way, in the chat. Everybody loves you. People saying, do it. What a gift. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the chat is writing their own poems too. <laughs> they're joining they're joining <laughs> they're joining with you they're all they're all inspired by you they're writing their own poems put some poems down guys let's see it All right, so this is just what came to mind. It's not like no, the greatest because I'm, I'm not like a fast writer, fast, right? so I just try to like do as fast as I can. <laughs> but I said, I haven't wrote in it forever, but but I'm going to get back into it. With Evan's help, he's been in and out. He's pretty great. He has an awesome fan base. He's very awesome. I'm happy to be talking to him. He's an inspiration, and all of his fan base – is very is very lovely and they can do anything that they can they just got to believe in this believe in themselves he's doing it he's writing again <laughs> gentlemen it's happening look at that you're getting the ooh la la you're getting the hearts let's let's give him some love here in the chat awesome the ink thank you thank you fresh from erasmo i love it i love it look hey look look at this one today is friday i was having a wacky day decided to check my phone, and this live got me back in my happy zone. Oh, look at you go. That's you, man. I, I was sitting here being quiet. I didn't, like, I'm, just, I'm just smiling along. If you watch the replay, I wasn't saying anything. We were just watching you write, dude. See, that's inspired action. So, so it's just tapping into it every, every time. Like, you feel something, you write it down. And um, some days are going to feel great. Some days you're going to feel grateful. Some days you're going to feel happy and on top of the world. And other days you're going to feel lost and you're going to feel confused and you're going to feel stuck. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You just, I just try to, yeah. I think I just get in my own head and I compare myself, you know? Yeah. Have, like, I think that's what got, I think that's what gets me. hundred percent. You're not even comparing yourself to other people. You're comparing yourself to the, who you used to be and the writing you used to do. But, you're changed, you've evolved, you know? Like, look at any artist. Their second album is not the same as the first, and it's not the same as their third, or the fourth, or the fifth. Like, you evolve and you change as an artist, and that's okay, that's cool, that's, that's growth, that's awesome. I, I mean, I'm a writer, I've written a bunch of books, and there's some days where I'm on fire writing and I just bang out. There was one trip where I was writing in the car, 
I was, I, I broke my neck. I wrote a third of this book in one trip to New York. I broke my neck. Mm. Um, I couldn't drive. My wife dro drove. I had to get to New York. I wasn't allowed to fly because of the pressure on the airplane would impact the neck. So we had to drive to, to New York, which is nine hours each way from Toronto. And my wife drove the whole way. And I felt so much love for her that she was driving. She hates driving, especially long distance. Um, and she would come with me just to do this New York trip. And I, I banged out uh, a third of the book from the passenger seat there and back. It was just awesome state of flow. Um, and there were other times where I'd write, get the, you know, sit down to write in my window and just be totally stuck. Um, and that's normal. That happens. But if you're doing it for yourself, like I was writing this for, you know, an audience, right? If you're doing this for yourself. Just an expression. If you're stuck, you say you're stuck. If it rhymes, it rhymes. If it doesn't, you keep going. And you get it out. Because just keeping it inside isn't going to serve anything. No matter what you do, just always be truthful to yourself. Yeah. and That's how I look at it. And where you're at is okay. So what would... Uh, Okay, so I'm gonna start trying to do um, do that. But is that so? Would that be the same advice that you would give? Because uh, I'm trying to uh, start like posting depression like videos on uh, YouTube, like helping people, you know, that are depressed. Mm -hmm. Is that the same advice that you would say for for like me? Is like just just like any thought I get, just write it down, just like create it into a video to help people. I think every poem you write is a great jumping off point for a video. I think that the poem can help you just get, get it out to crystallize it, to get it down on paper. And then if you take that one, like the one you just wrote is about inspiration or gratitude. So that could be a video. You could turn that into a video because Hey, depressed people need, both inspiration and gratitude. But if you're feeling down, that could be a video too, right? It could be like, I feel stuck. I feel down. I don't know what to do. Um, my mind's racing. I feel like I'm in a zoo. <laughs> I can't help it now. <laughs> but you, you, uh, you, if you're stuck, you say you, you're stuck, but that you're not going to let that stop you from getting to where you want to go and why it's beautiful is because you're not just showing that you're perfect and that you've got all you get all figured out but that you're still struggling through it but you're willing to get up and struggle through it like you're willing to fight the fight because you want to get to the next place like how many people were in a great relationship broke up and then got depressed tons of people so to hear your story and how you're how you're even even to share the whole thing of how you haven't written for x number of months because you're judging it and you feel like you were better back then and now's the time to start turning the corner that's a super inspiring video i have a uh i have well what i was thinking of uh doing next week is doing something over like what what lessons i learned from my friend's death because he died and then uh i was thinking of doing another video like writing about it mm -hmm. about my about, about like me going through through my cancer that i went through because that's uh because that's some valuable lessons too how how often do you write or do you want to write uh every every day like once at least great like once every day Morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, probably the probably the morning after my meditation. If I meditate that day, dude, that's awesome. Like meditate and then write. Like put that into your regular routine. You meditate and then you write, because the meditation will also get you a whole bunch of ideas and some inspiration for what to write. And and don't put the pressure on, like you have to write four pages. What you just wrote, how long did that take, right? Like two and a half minutes? It's great. 
if you did that every day, if you meditated, how long do you meditate for? Uh, about try to. I try to. I'm trying to work up to thir to thirty minutes. Okay, but so but I only do it for like ten. Okay, so whatever. So you do ten minutes tomorrow. You're gonna wake up and do ten minutes of meditation, then sit down and write a poem from it, like right away. Just go right to the have the pen and paper already kind of set up or the notebook set up next to you, and no thinking, no going to the bathroom, no eating a snack or anything. Meditation to writing. You're gonna write your poem. And, and maybe that's a two minute poem. Maybe that's a 40 minute poem. I don't know. Like you write for as long as you want to write. And then if you did that every day, you take, you take your favorite ones or the best ones and you turn that into a video concept. Got you. How do I, uh, is it just, I'm guessing it's just practice over practice to get like confident in like front of a camera. I'm guessing it's just, yeah. Practice. You're doing it right now, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was I was nervous, not gonna lie. Nervous is going in. <laughs> nervous. That's listen, I was nervous when I told you to go right I told you, hey, go right now. And and we're gonna have silence on our stream for a couple minutes. That usually doesn't make for good live, you know, programming. But everybody was super awesome and they filled the void by starting to write poems themselves, right? Like, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't yeah. hop over it because I wanted to give you some white space to kind of work with. And they just stuck around and filled the void by typing in their own stuff, right? Um, so yeah, you should be nervous, it's great. Being nervous is amazing. That means you're on the right path. So yeah, sure. expect, the first, expect the first video to suck, but the heart is there. And just over practicing is just the key. Yeah, at least one a week. Because, like, I, well, I see, or I see in your book, yeah, you did like two hundred and like seventy eight like practices just before you got like confident enough to actually like do a good one. I didn't hate it. Hate my video. Like I couldn't watch my videos back. I was so embarrassed. M M Modelalia Sharma saying, yes, that was amazing what he wrote now. See, keep it up. You're getting love. Yeah. So it was awesome what you guys wrote too. Keep it up. Yeah, but, but listen, the way to inspire people is to do it. You can't just say, go do it. You have to be doing it. You didn't even have to say anything. Just, just people watching you write led to them wanting to write. We didn't do it like, hey, everybody, let's write something down. You said, okay, I'm going to put the phone down. We're sitting there looking at your glasses, head <laughs> down doing it. And people just start throwing off rhymes here in the chat. It was great. That was you leading the inspired action. So you've got to do it. I think, I think the meditation and the, and the poem uh, right after is for you. It's for you to get back to the mindset, to the mind space, to the heart space, to feeling better about yourself and to, to let stuff out. Like that's for you. And then you take some of those. If you're doing that seven days a week, you have a little short poem every week. And again, the poem might be two lines or the poem might be 18 pages. You know, you never know. Like the, sometimes it's flowing and you just dump and sometimes it's super short. But then you take the best. If you want to practice more, you take the best three and turn those into videos. But let that, like the meditation and the writing is for you, you need it. It'll, it'll make you feel better, it'll center you every day. You know, put you in the right headspace to go off and live today from a happier place. And then the gift to the, to the world, to the community is creating the videos from whichever one you wanna talk about. But now you have a source of inspiration, so it's not, I don't know what I'm gonna make a video on. That's one of the biggest, well, I don't, what do I make a video on? Well, you've got, seven days of writing that whichever one just resonates the most with right now, that's the one you pick. So it could be about your girlfriend, it could be about the cancer, it could be about writer's block, it could be about depression, like all of those things can work, but let it flow from the meditation into the poem. Cause that's your, that's your creative zone that's just gonna automatically flow where when you're thinking too strategic, 
like eight ways to get out of depression, sometimes that the content's not as good as opposed to if it actually came from the heart. Yeah, true. I, I, I used to not be so bad at it, but I'm starting to get like really in a bad habit of overthinking. Is there like, I don't really think there's a way to like help overthinking or stop it. Is there Dude, like, it's, like to help it? Like it's in the homework. You do a meditation every day and then you go right away to start writing. You have the notebook and the pen right next to you and you go right to your desk and you start writing. Don't think about it. No washroom break, no food, no snack, no like, am I good enough? Meditation to writing. That's it. No thinking. Like you have to take the thinking out of the equation. You meditate and then you go sit down and you write with whatever the first thing it is that came to your mind. So you did it here, right? We just did it live. You said you tapped into the gratitude for being here and having this conversation, being with these amazing people. Uh, and tomorrow maybe something totally different. But it's not, it's not thinking about the process of writing, just getting down and writing. Like you go from meditation right away to sitting down and writing and, and five seconds after you sit down, something has to be on the paper. Got you. So, okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start doing what I've been thinking of, do of doing like every other night. So before I go to sleep, I've been thinking of, well, I work nights. So that's for those nights, of course. But, uh, the nights that I don't work, I've been thinking of like writing my journal, what like my plan is for the next morning. Mm -hmm. And then just going at it because then I have a plan, you know. That's great for the whole day, but but train the meditation to writing every morning. You wake up, you meditate, whether it's ten minutes or thirty minutes, whatever. When the meditation is over, you get up, you go write, and within five seconds of sitting down, you have to have written your first word on the paper. Like what you just did here was a great example, because. We didn't go back and forth on, well, what should I write about? I don't know what, to, I don't know what I'm going to write about. And I used to be so good and now I'm not good anymore. And the, you're like, no, okay. Yeah, I'll do it. And you just did it. <laughs> <laughs> right. You just wrote it down and everybody loved it. it. So that's it. They're like, take that same, just stop. You just don't think about it. You're not allowed to think about it. And you're not allowed to think about distractions. It's not like, what am I going to do today? Or what clothes should I wear today? Or nothing. Meditation to writing. And five seconds after sitting down, the first word has to be on the page. And then let it flow for as long as it flows. And if you're stuck, write that you're stuck. And then after the writing, then you can worry about what's going on with the rest of your day. But that'll center you every day. That'll help get stuff out. That'll put you back in the right mindset. And then some of those will become videos that you can turn into for your channel. Got you. So, uh... So I asked somebody else, but I mean, uh, so now right now I was going to do more, uh, research on it, but so on Instagram, I'm only, uh, I only follow people for like good advice or like finance and stuff like that. Okay. And this one that I'm, this one that I'm following is called. Uh, what is it? Healthy mindset, I think it's called. And they always talk about like, it's never too late to invest. Like, if you don't invest, then, uh, then like your money's just sitting there. So like, it'd be like better to do that. So what would you say would be best? Like, cause some people are telling me like low cost index funds and all that. And I know you, and I know you know you help people with that. If you don't know what you're doing, then yes, then you do index funds. Because it's, it's okay, so over like, the long haul, it's going to go up. But I don't, I don't even want you thinking about this stuff right now. Like, the most important thing is to get your mindset right every day. Before you worry about anything, yeah. spend the next 30 mornings meditating and journaling. Or, or poem writing. Because that'll, that'll set you up to feel you again. Which will then allow you to make all sorts of better decisions for your life from investing to everything else. 
Gotcha. 30, yeah, I uh, 30 day challenge every morning, meditation, poem writing immediately, and five seconds after sitting down, you got to have something written. Okay, gotcha. That's, it. That's the only thing uh, that matters because once you get that going, you'll become a different person, you'll feel more connected to you at the end of the 30 days, you'll probably keep up the habit. And then that'll put you in a better position to answer every other question you've got going on in your life. Okay. So, all right, I'm going to push myself. And then because every other week I'm pushing myself to like put one video out every week, like one video, like small steps, you know, because yeah. I'm not really used to it, but I'm trying to like push myself because that's what I want to do because I love helping people. Follow the plan from your seven videos or seven, seven poems, one to three of those could be videos. You want to get better the do more videos, but get the meditation and the writing down as a practice first, get that habitual. So that every morning is what you do. Every morning is what you do. Just like brushing your teeth or drinking a glass of water or whatever else you do in the morning. I hope you brush your teeth every morning. <laughs> I hope so too. Brush your teeth. Meditate, write, and then we can stack habits on top of that. Then it can be make some videos. Then it can be learn to invest. Then it can be other things. But we got to get that foundation level down first. Yeah, thirty days. Gotcha. I want updates. All right. Yeah, I'll send you pictures every time. Pictures, they, daily picture. Post it to your own Instagram. All right. I got you. Hey. And then I'll uh, tag you in it. Tag too. I want to see it. Uh, how? So I post videos on YouTube, right? Like to try to help people. How would I do that on Instagram? Because once, because I tried to do that before, and I only could get like a fifteen-second video in. Or should I just stick on YouTube for now and then try to? Yeah, YouTube, Instagram is 15 second reel or no, how long are reels now? I forget how long reels are. The stories are 15 seconds, but can be sequential. Like you have four, the, the video posts are a minute. IGTV is 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, like, again, I wouldn't even worry about it yet. Meditation and writing, get that down. 30 days meditation, right? When was the last time you were consistent on your writing? Uh, a while, like, it was a while ago, like a long time ago, like last year sometime. Last year, okay, so 30 days, that's all that matters. Meditation, writing. And then we start adding one video on top of it. But I need you to keep, you need you to keep the meditation into the writing to start finding your flow again and tapping back into who you actually are. Got you. Yeah. And go back at it. That's good. That's it. Everything else, will you'll figure it out. It's like the how-tos of like how long can an Instagram video be. When, you, when you've when dialed back into you and you're in the zone again, you'll, you'll crush all of those little how-tos. All right. 30-day uh, challenge. We want to see it. Post it to your Instagram. <laughs> Tag me. I want to. Even we can't read. Even wrote like eighteen pages. Just take a picture of the notebook, so we can cheer you on. Yeah, sure. Right. How do I? How do I tag you? I don't know how to do that. Just put in the description. Hey, Evan Carmichael. Oh. <laughs> or click on the picture. All right. and tag. But even tagging me isn't the most important thing. It's just making it right. The thirty days meditation writing five seconds sitting down there's a word on the paper so that's the only thing that matters right now all right i'll take your word for it i got you man give me give me a 30-day test <laughs> what's the worst that's gonna happen <laughs> you got it uh we're sending you lots of love we gotta fly but sending you lots of love and um do it do it you'll be a different person in 30 days all right brother i got you Appreciate it. Much love. Have a great weekend, man. We're cheering you on. You as well, man. Okay. Thank you for thank you for that amazing two ninety five, by the way. It's helped a lot. Cool.
Yeah, yeah, awesome. I'm glad it's helping. Now, now you're doing it for yourself. It's the 254. Now, now it's 254 of writing. You're gonna do it for yourself. It's coming. All right. Very Much true. love, man. Much love, everybody. Thanks for watching. Right. Great week. Love, man. Stay amazing.